Good day learners and welcome to our video today where we are looking at our cat pet and we are now going to look at phase two task one what is required what does the rubric have to say what do we need to hand in for task one of phase two so let's just go through in our document and then we're going to have a look at this so we can make sure we're doing the right thing. So as you can see, I've got my pet document open. I'm going to go through to the rubric as well. And I want you to see something in the summary here. You can see there phase two. So this is all phase two and this is task one. Okay. Now what we immediately see there is that we're getting marks for word processing. And then they say to us there, that we need to work of um, three packages using three packages of which the third one is optional in terms of what we want to use so we are going to be using word and then they want us to create a spreadsheet and many of you would have done that via your google form we can also create a database or we can use one of these packages now what's going to happen is that the best two marks out of the three are going to be taken okay so let me show you when this changes to 25 do you see it doesn't affect anything here it's 25 out of 25 that goes across because phase two is out of 100 right next one for my spreadsheet let's say i get 23 out of 25 for my spreadsheet do you see where the 23 goes? Because this whole section is a mark out of 50. Now, I get 15 marks for my database. It then adds that everyone's happy. So it's taken the 38 and the 25. But let's say I decide, man, I'm going to do a presentation rather. And, uh, well, as well. And I knock it out of the park and I get like 24 out of 25 for that i want you to look at what happens do you see that here for the third package it's saying 24 out of 25 for database it's 15 out of 25 and the spreadsheet 23 out of 25 so how then do i get 47 out of 50 47 here is made up of the top two marks out of the three packages package number one spreadsheets excel i've got 23 out of 25 it then looked at the next two. Do you see there? Which one's the higher? It's going to be the presentation, which was 24 out of 25. So it takes the 24 and the 23, and that's how I get 47. Okay, so keep that in mind as we go through. So here they say to us, phase two, task one, we need to create documents using the appropriate application to manipulate or process the information and the data to answer the questions. Make use of at least two of the following three applications. Again, make use of at least two of the following three applications. Application number one, your spreadsheet. And your spreadsheet needs to have multiple sheets. And you need to use charts. And we'll go into the details on that. Application two is database. The database will have to have two tables one relationship as you can see there it needs to have two input forms it needs to have three queries and two meaningful reports okay if we're going to be using database and then with our presentation here they say you may choose one of the following so whichever over there so basically you are going to be creating a spreadsheet and you're going to be creating a database and then you will choose which one of these you will use. Okay, so if I'm going to be using or doing a presentation, then check your content, make sure your slides are, you know, have a pleasing layout. You've got five to eight body slides. So that doesn't include the, the you know, the main slide, the title, the table of contents, things like that. No. Um, and then that's it. Can you see the next one we're going on to is task two or phase two, task two. So, having said that, let's go in depth to have a look at this rubric. Let's go over here. So, you'll see I've got phase one and then I've got the phase two report. So, this is 
specifically for the report that you are creating in Word. Does your report have a title page? Does your report have a table of contents? Does it have an introduction, introduction, ooh, an overview of the task? Is there an outline of the report? In other words, are all the headings in a logical order and the same style used? Folks, if it is, you'll get these marks. Then they're asking here for the body, paragraphs, and content. All content is included, is relevant with suitable images, screenshots, and explanations. Now, what are they talking about? The following. You obviously have now arranged everything under different headings. The content fully explains the answers to all the questions in asked in phase one. Um, good use of graphics and images throughout. And here they mention the following content should be included. Explain the process, the development, the course of action followed for the completion of this step in each phase. So you're going to say for phase one, task one, this is how I went about um, finding my information, you know, gathering all the data, things like that. Any obstacles that were encountered, disadvantages and advantages of the method used. Here they give us an example. In phase one, I used the internet, but then discovered I needed to do a survey, etc. I used a word processing package to do a survey, but then discovered that I could use Google Docs instead. Okay, so you need to do that for phase one, task one, and phase one, task two. And then after that, you know, just make sure you've got your headings and you need to um, then also have a conclusion, right? Now, this over here, these are the screenshots um, that you are going to be having where you're going to show the relevant skills that you put in place. So if you, besides this, um, if you used page breaks, if you used any of those things, you're going to be putting those things into your report as well. Um, and you're also going to be indicating here like a screenshot of your Google uh, Doc or your um, Google Form or whatever the case is. Then you need a conclusion and then a self-evaluation paragraph. How you found the pet? Was the pet difficult? Was it easy? What could be improved? How you felt about it? And then obviously your bibliography, your AI declaration, your screenshot over here of your spell check that you've done and the fact that you've handed it in on time. That's how you get the 25 marks that we're talking about over here. Then, do you see from phase two report, it goes to word processing, right? Let me show you what's going on here. So you get marks now for what you've done in terms of your skill set with Word. So have you used the correct type of layout? Have you used a creative layout? Have you got a proper structure? Is it, you know, do you have consistent formatting throughout the document? In your tables, and this pertains now to everything you've done in Word for the pet. Um, have you used five table formatting techniques? So yeah, they give us a few examples. The position of the text, the text direction, borders and shading. So go and do that. Go and see that you've got all of that. And what's now got to happen is in the document, you've got to give me screenshots of the fact that you've done these things. The same for the use of columns. One set of columns created with one formatting technique. Word processing over here. Three enhancements. Things like headers, footers, symbols. Um, advanced processing, uh, word processing features. And then any sort of integration, whether you did a paste link with something else, a mail merge, export, whatever the case is. That's how you get your marks. Are we, are we together? Can you see here, 25 marks for that, 25 marks for the report, and that's what ends up giving me my mark. So let me just take that out, and let me change this here. So you can see for yourself what's going to happen. And then I'm going to go to word processing. I'm going to do the same there. And then I go down to summary.
take that out. Now, when we go over to the spreadsheet, can you see we've got the same for the spreadsheet? Marks for the design, spreadsheet contents, functions used, intermediate functions, advanced functions, multiple sheets, design of the graphs. You need to give me um, screenshots and evidence of all of this. So if I take you to a sample that we have. And have a look at this. So here, for example, is a sample of the report. And can you see what's been done here? You've got your table of contents, your introduction, your overview of what you did. Then within Word, layout and formatting. Can you see that's a screenshot? What was done here? Styles were used. On this one, centered the paragraph. Justified the paragraph. Spelling and grammar check. Fonts that were changed. Consistent page numbering. I'm just going to scroll down. You can see here. Evidence has been given of every sort of formatting and uh, word processing feature that's been used, headers, footers, all of that. The same was done for Microsoft Excel. So you're going to do the exact same thing there. If you use the formula, um, whatever you did with shading and boarding, conditional formatting, all of those things. Here's an, a, a VLOOKUP that was used, absolute referencing as well. So... That is what they want you to do. And that's how you end up getting your marks when it comes to phase two, task one. Okay. But if you have any questions, grade 12s, let me know in the comments if there's anything I can assist you with. But I hope now, IAB learners, this puts you on the right path to what you need to do for phase two, Task one of your 2025 Get Pet.